What's going on you guys? My name is Rage and we are back today with a very exciting video here on the Mercs for Money team but as well as we're going to be going through every single Easter egg to confirm who the five members are. There's been a lot of uh, information being circulated but uh, in this video guys we're going to be unpacking the five characters that I strongly believe are going to be part of the Mercs for Money but as well I do feel like the certainty and probability of this is very likely based on all the information that's been circulated, the data mines that we've seen and as well, even information from Marvel Strike Force themselves uh, being in the blog post or even in the actual um, uh, public media they've circulated. So let's get right to it. First and foremost, as you can see right here in this uh, visual that they've actually provided in last week's blog post, you know, a lot, of us, a lot, many of us were already speculating based on this image, you know, which one of these members are going to be on the mercenary team, this new Mercs for Money team, right? And obviously we know Deadpool and Panapool are confirmed. Right? I want to be going through that in the confirmation for those of you are, that are still, you know, uh, doubtful that Deadpool is going to be part of this team. Yes, he was officially announced in case you guys missed it. Uh, so we know Deadpool and as well as Panapool being both variants of each other are 100% locked in. The big question mark in this one was also Deadpool because uh, to be honest, um, her new Warriors team has fallen off the meta for quite some time now, and they still have some value potentially in War and Crucible, mainly in War right now because they actually get those bonuses. But once that subsides, you know, it's going to remain to be seen how important this character will be. Obviously, we still need her at gear tier 17, level 90 because of the big boy apocalypse full upgrade. But other than that, she never really got um, the same love that Kestrel, Val, and as well as Spider Weaver received in the past updates, right? She's always definitely been the underperforming character out of this mix. So uh, I would love for them to see the rework here. And also, uh, many of us will likely not need to bring her up much higher because uh, all, all of us have already previously invested in her. So it's just great to get that extra additional value. But this all started in the Vote and Blood blog post that was on actually on February 17th, 2024. This was a result of the poll results that were months earlier, right? But you can see here, this is when we got information that the next legendary character uh, is going to be part of this new uh, Deadpool, Panda Pool combination. And for those of you that didn't see this, this is where they actually first officially confirmed that Deadpool is going to be on the team in addition to the fan voted panda pool and out of time is gonna be required for this uh next legendary character that's part of this team that's why this information was circulated right we also got some great information circulated by envoys yesterday on panda pools kit this character is looking absolutely phenomenal um he's a global mutant protector again a deadpool variant so it's just great to see that variety but as well um just having a you know a different type of character mix here for, for a change and mixed in with Deadpool is pretty nice timing, especially with the new Wolverine and Deadpool movie. I'm a big fan of the, the content there. So excited to see how this character is going to be part of this team. But they're also confirmed to be a war team from everything we've seen also in the data mines. Now, more on uh, Panda Pool here actually in the leak here. But um, we got some additional information here. Um, again, circulating the data mines where we got the breakdown of his kit. And now this was confirmed in yesterday's information that circulated. But this is actually the first time that we see um, the confirmation here of Old Man Logan, where he is possibly and very likely the next legendary character that's basically confirmed, right? We first saw his visual getting teased with the Age of X and Xavier, and this was in the background. Um, but you can see here with Panda Pool's kit, it has a direct call out to Old Man Logan and as well as Deadpool. So that's why we know these three members already guaranteed and locked down. Um, and for those of you that are interested and just wondering about his kit, essentially um, getting assisted attacks is going to be part of the mechanic by having these members on Panda Pool's side, uh, which includes Deadpool and Old Man Logan. But as well, having these two members on the team also essentially guarantees Panda Pool having a revive. Uh, he's going to be coming back so as long as these two members are on the team. It's going to be interesting to see if this can be repeated and um, or maybe it's like based on a charge mechanic, similar to how we see Red Goblin. But yeah, um, that's going to be information that we obviously need to confirm and, and review once that kit's been provided. But yeah, the, essentially confirm, guys. Uh, Old Man Logan, legendary character. Again, we need to be mindful of the out-of-time team, but also if there's other teams that are going to be needed, as we've seen in the past legendary trial events. Now, with him being an older version of Wolverine, you know, it remains to be seen if they're going to be keep keeping it consistent with the both the unique and the traits. But uh, typically, I would expect them to still use uh, adamantium. In addition to that, he should be a mutant character. So um, right away, you know, we have a mutant here in Old Man Logan. 
we got a mutant here in panda pool and we also have a mutant here in deadpool so right away guys get ready um you know enjoy those mutant gear materials while you can because it looks like this is going to be needed uh, to bring these characters and elevate them now, if you guys have been following along in my past videos this week, it's been pretty exciting to see this. But um, again, big, big shout out to Cyber who called this out in the Reddit post. And I made a video on it yesterday, which is the nod here to Dokken. Um, Dokken is the fourth uh, confirmed member here. And he was also included in the data mines. And for those of you that missed my video yesterday, just to recap it here, this is the showcase information um, essentially walking us through when the Mercs for Money event and team is going to be introduced as we've seen with the past events similar to what we're seeing right now uh, with Spider Society. And the verbiage here that confirms his kit overall is typically sometimes we see these characters um, getting mentioned or referenced but uh, this is one of the first data mines where we've seen with Dokken um, getting added and also information on how he's used in the game which basically guarantees that this is a confirmed character and as well, even the team that he's included on. So I'm just going to read this out loud for you guys that did miss my video yesterday, which is, um, you know, his code name, by the way, is Fang. So that's why it starts off like that. So you said over that counts on our way Claw Leader. Claw Leader is referencing uh, to Fang, right? Um, this is Dokken, aka Fang. His mutant power allows him to heal fast and hit hard, adding to his stealth. So that right away, you're getting a little bit of uh, an insight on his kit already. He's gonna. It sounds like he's gonna be some sort of, you know, um, combative damage dealing character that can pierce in addition to having stealth also available. Now, what f further solidifies that this is a character that's coming to the game is how he's described. Uh, they go ahead and describe him as being useful in war, taking down enemies clouded with stealth, and as well working with the Mercs for Money team. It's very rare that we see all these check off the boxes when you're introducing a character and referencing him in some sort of showcase dialogue. But in this case, it's almost like walking the player through how his kit's going to function. And then finally, um, you know, um, icing on the cake, they even talk about his ultimate. Alongside being anti-stealth, his ultimate attack can slow down an entire team's speed, which means he's going to have... Um, either uh, an impactful slow or some sort of turn meter rewind that's going to be impacting all the enemies that they're up against in war. So right off the bat, you're just getting everything checked off in terms of what you would expect if there was a character getting teased. And that's why we have pretty strong confirmation here. It's basically all but confirmed that Dokken is the fourth uh, member of this team. And then lastly, guys, I already alluded to this earlier before, but um, after today, when they released the uh, the Mercs for Money, excuse me, the M is for the month of May uh, for Mercs uh, getting released and additional information, we actually see Deathpool having a specific solo event where it's dubbed as Mystic Mercenary. So this basically confirms that Deathpool is, yes, the fifth and final member of the team, in addition to Dokken, who's yet to be confirmed right now to get introduced. So that gives you guys right there um the the full team right and and just be mindful of this right uh out of these uh five characters you know four of them are potentially mutant characters only exception here is actually Deathpool being a mystic character so um that's why guys uh, if you're watching this earlier on prepare to save those mutant materials because we're now just waiting for the confirmation but as per usual with each and every one of these videos that i make uh, in terms of this insight and what we're going to be seeing to be confirmed don't build anything just yet you know, always, always, always wait for the confirmation. Um, we know Panda Pool is confirmed. We know Deadpool is confirmed. Old Man Logan's coming. And now we just need that final confirmation um, from either the Envoys or uh, Marvel Strike Force that this is the full uh, Mercs for Money team. So let me know anything in the comments below if you guys agree or disagree. I'll link my past videos I've made if you want to deep dive them further as well. Thank you for your time as always, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.